Greetings YouTube, Ish Patel here today with another video tutorial and today we will be looking at how to overclock your mobile NVIDIA GPUs. Now, the first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser. I personally prefer and recommend Google Chrome and uh, open up and I mean search up NVIDIA system tools and click the first link which says with ESA support that will take you to the official site and basically um, download this after you've downloaded it you know just the original install it after installing I personally would recommend uh, rebooting your laptop just to make sure the system you know puts it and implements it into effect and is also compatible with it uh, and it doesn't produce any errors or anything like that after rebooting open up your Nvidia control panel wherever it is um, mine is in the taskbar right here if you boot up your computer it will almost always be right there um, and if not it should be on your desktop as well now you will notice since you have installed the system tools including the original you know 3d settings there will now be a performance tab now what you want to do is navigate to the device settings right there and um, this will show you this panel right here when you first open it up the selector will be in the factory ship frequencies right there now what you want to do is change it to custom custom clock speeds because obviously you will want to overclock your GPU <coughs> excuse me now I would recommend two setups one for power save and another for performance what you want to do is basically for performance obviously slide these values to the left most as possible now um, I'm mine is a NVIDIA GT 840M 2GB with uh, 2 gigs of GDDR3 VRAM. These are the latest batch released in April by NVIDIA, April 2014. It's the mid-range, uh, mid-spec GPU. And um, so basically, after you set these right, this graphics clock all the way to the left and the memory clock all the way to the left. Let me explain what this does. Graphics clock. Basically overall processing of the graphics. Um, you know, basically how fast it renders, how much computational power it has. Basically depends on the graphics clock. The memory clock is how much it can load onto the dedicated RAM it has. Now, let's say for games like Planet Side 2, where you can increase or decrease the map draw distance. The more you increase the draw distance, the more memory it will take for the graphics card to load that on your screen. And if you have a higher memory clock with a farther drawing distance, you will experience much better frame rate and much better performance on your graphics card. If you have a lower memory clock and the draw distance is far, it won't be that pleasurable loading that much on a conservative memory clock. So this, after you've set these sliders all the way to the left, which I recommend for power save, click on save to profile. And now remember this you need to be very careful of where you are saving. Uh, mine is saved in my libraries and documents. I have a special Entune Profiles folder. Um, save it wherever you like, but remember the location. So Entune Profiles and after the util.nsu, I named it PowerSave in all caps. Um, 
and saved it but I already have it saved right here so I don't need to save it again but that's what you would do and then the second profile I would save um, the factory shipped frequencies for performance on my card at least are 400 I mean 540 megahertz for the graphics clock and 1001 megahertz for the memory clock now this is what it will look like um, if you want to see the actual sliders uh, that's what it would look like and yeah, as you can see it switches back to factory ship frequencies because it detects that this is the factory ship um, but my you know performance I want maximum performance so I bumped it up all the way on both and um, you could do save to profile but I already have a profile saved yet again so after you apply that hit save to profile and basically name it performance or whatever you want I recommend performance just easier to remember uh, I'm going to switch it back to power save right now and don't worry you won't have to hit that apply button every time I will show you what to do now to make sure go into stored profiles and click check profiles and it'll just say all your profiles are valid which will now let you use them and if you ever want to edit a profile you'll be able to edit and save them to the profile itself here and then again if you want to create a new one you're gonna to have to go back to the current settings and save to a new profile after that ignore the view system information you won't need that unless you know what you're doing or you want to change something up um, so basically let's go down to profile policies this is where you want to make sure you are having the NVIDIA control panel automatically enable your profiles so basically select load this profile and click on the profile after that and it will have you navigate to the folder and pick the profile this is why I said remember where you put your folder you want to know where it is so you can navigate back to this so basically whatever profile you choose let's go performance I'm going to show you what to do when these conditions are met so then kick I mean click on game is loaded because I'm assuming you want to overclock for you know gaming performance then click on this arrow here to transfer it to the next box Now what you want to do is click on game and if you when you start off you're gonna have this all blank then nav then click add game and navigate to the executable file where your game is stored this will be you know the game dot exe um, just to give you a demo um, I will go to this PC C I use steam a lot um, so I'll just use a steam example steam if you don't use steam figure it out where your thing is saved I do not know so do not ask me unless you give me your system information in the comments I may be able to help you out uh, steam apps common I have all these um, let's just say actually I need to delete this I don't play Warface anymore I'll just leave it whatever let's say left 4 dead 2 right now here it's left 4 dead 2.exe if I click open it will save um, in other games it might not be that straightforward um, again AC3 MP SP uh, these have it basically easy uh, so basically planet side 2 x64 x68.exe and uh, add a name to the game which you will be able to see in the game rules tab and then select the games you want the rule to apply for I'm going to assume this will be for every for every game you have and click OK and when you hit accept it will add the rule down here now what you want to do is hit after you know hitting accept I already have the rule right here so I'm gonna clear it and uh, after you hit accept you're gonna to want to clear it too and then click load this profile now select power save 
and hit open. I already have it, so. Um, and then click game is stopped, not loaded, stopped. Because you want this to go back to power saving when it's stopped. Hit this arrow again, hit game, and select all the ones you want it to apply for. Hit OK again, and click accept. And clear. So, once your game is started, it will automatically overclock your GPU. And once it's stopped, it will automatically underclock your GPU. Maximizing performance and then maximizing power saving. So that's basically it, guys. I will have um, a couple other videos as well. I will, in the future, going I'd be going over how to overclock your Intel processors using the extreme tuning utility. Um, but this is basically it for how to overclock your NVIDIA mobile graphics card. Um, hope you learned something today. Hope I uh, helped you out to the best of my ability. And uh, have fun with that overclocking, guys. See you next time.